Our marriage started off very, very rocky. As soon as the honeymoon was over, it was over. And literally things went downhill from that point forward. We did not know the Lord. We came from a party lifestyle, you know, the whole Southern California rock and roll scene, biker scene. It was a hedonistic lifestyle. I had gone everywhere for help. Transcendental meditation, you know, all those different things that you can do and nothing helped. All of this stuff that was going on was really dark, really hurtful and very ungodly. Neither one of us really wanted to be with each other. And that was at our 26 year mark. There was a major thought of divorce. We really needed God to step in because we couldn't do it. And we knew we couldn't do it. We were both ready to give up. I had a friend. She and I were uh, friends from birth. She took me to Calvary Chapel in Costa Mesa. It was kind of like, this is my last opportunity for hope. And so I'm gonna give you a chance. So I gave my life to the Lord. Immediately, some things changed right away. And it was like this anchor that was holding us, which was God. It was just, it was just more than we could ever imagine what he came in and did. I found out I was pregnant. So I took John out to lunch to tell him that I was pregnant and I was terrified. But the interesting thing is the minute I got saved and found out that I was pregnant, it was like I was thrilled. And I was thinking if I did not know the Lord, the answer for me probably would have been an abortion. I thought I had my act together. And I agreed with her she needed to get saved. Didn't feel like I did because she's the one that's messed up. After she told me that she was pregnant, I said, I need some time to think about this. So I loaded up my motorcycle, doom buggy, and went out to the desert with some friends. And I ended up in a situation that God literally turned my sand rail around because I was headed towards a cliff. And I crawled out from underneath it, and I said, okay, God, you have my attention. So I remember us walking together, and here we are. We don't want to be together, but yet we're not leaving each other because of God. And I remember thinking, why don't I hold his hand? I was so afraid to cross this barrier, you know? And so I remember just like reaching out and holding his hand. Now, this is my husband of 26 years. And it was amazing what the Lord started to do when we started to move closer. So I came home and we started going to church and I gave my life to the Lord. And it feels like at that point we were saved, but we had so much dross in our lives. God really had to turn the heat up because he wanted to use us. There were things that needed to get taken out of our lives. Through all of that, he gave us such a clear understanding of the gospel his sacrifice for us, his willingness to step in to the middle of our sin and show his love for us. For the first time, it's really given us a true basis for the rest of our marriage. We have a true reference point to go back to, which is the gospel of Jesus. I'm a sinner and I live with a sinner. The more that you receive grace and mercy and recognize it, the more you can give it away. I feel so silly that I spent so many years being blinded with my pride over what he was doing instead of seeing what I needed to be forgiven for. When giant things come up, we have a tendency to magnify that and all of a sudden we look like we're the Holy One and, and we're only righteous through the blood of Christ. He has used this pit we were in to bring us back to the simplicity of the gospel and using that to see others in that same light. God doesn't have a magic wand and just all of a sudden your marriage is a piece of cake and, and wonderful. It's a process. I would encourage anybody that's struggling in their marriage, don't throw in the towel. Hang in there, press into the Lord, and let God use life to bring you along.